center of gravity so in the center of gravity i have chosen for the i section and this is one of the basic question in the center of gravity so here there are different section which have been given so we have to mention the number 1 2 and 3 so there are three sections and having a different dimension so each section is a rectangular okay so if you take the section 1 it is a rectangular with a dimension of 10 into 2 cm and for the section 2 it is 2 into 15 cm and for the third it is 20 into 2 cm so the dimension is clear in the question even though in the some questions uh, for the width of the uh, rectangular it won't mention in the question only one time it will be mentioned as 2 cm it means that the for the the width of the that is also called web okay so the web thickness the web thickness it will be same for the remaining uh, three distance that will be 2 cm it can be assumed as 2 cm okay so this is called as top land the top i section and this is the middle one it will be web and bottom web so three section it will be divided sometimes the question may be in the descriptive form or it may be given in the n diagram okay so after that the entire lamina is you should be locate in any one of the quadrant okay so generally i am going to fix in the first quadrant you can make fix at any one of the quadrant so this is in first quadrant where you are going to be located okay after that let us write x and y and o at the origin okay after that from the center of from the reference line you are going to calculate the x distance and also y distance so before that you have to calculate the area for all the three sections so first for section 1 we will take for the section 1 so here we have the section 1 area for the section 1 a1 so area it will be length into breadth 10 into 2 so it will be 20 cm square and also we will calculate x1 and also we will calculate y1 for this section 1 only i am thinking of the section 1 we are discussing in the section 1 so from the reference line oy to this point let us assume the center of gravity is somewhere here for this section 1 okay so now you need to calculate what is this distance and the height okay so this will be called as x1 and the height it will be called as y1 for the element 1 so your center of gravity is here somewhere here so you have to calculate this distance okay so this i section it is clearly mentioned that it is an symmetric about the y axis okay so it is symmetry of y axis it means that the x1 and x2 and also x3 it will be same for the the three sections so x1 so what is this distance if you made half of the 20 then you will getting x1 x2 and also x3 means 20 by 2 will be the your value so 10 cm so that will be same for the x2 x3 and y1 so y1 is nothing but the reference line ox to this height that is y1 okay so we know this is 2 cm so first write 2 cm plus from here to here that is 15 plus half of the height that is 2 by 2 so you will get 1 so 15 1 16 17 18 18 cm will be the y1 distance similarly we will calculate for section 2 okay so your section 2 is here we have mentioned this is a section 2 so for the area for the section 2 that is a2 so for that the thickness it will be 2 cm and the height it is 15 so 2 into 15 that is 30 cm square will be the area after that again we are calculating x2 x2 is nothing but again same from the reference line oy to this distance so cz is here for the element 2 so here that is x2 x2 has already said it will be again 10 cm now y2 okay 
y2 y2 is nothing but from the reference line o ox to this distance that is y2 okay so now we know this height that is 2 plus what is the total height that is 15 15 divided by 2 will be the so now 15 by 2 it is 7.5 means it is totally it will be 9.5 centimeter y2 value again similarly if you go for the section 3 there the area of the element so section 3 is here so for that the area for the section 3 so 20 into 2 20 it will be the width and 2 will be the height so 40 centimeter square and x3 x3 again it will be same that is 10 centimeter and y3 half of the height 2 by 2 it means 1 centimeter so we have calculated area for the three sections x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 now you need to calculate the uh, center of gravity for the entire section entire system so for that you need to calculate the cg for entire body entire lamina okay so for that we have the formula to calculate x bar x bar is nothing but a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 divided by the sum of all the areas what is the value of a1 a1 is nothing but area for the element 1 that is 20 x1 is 10 plus a2 is 30 into x2 is 10 plus a3 is 40 again x3 is 10 divided by the sum of area so 20 plus 30 50 50 plus 40 90 okay we calculate the answer for x bar so 200 plus 300 plus 400 plus 400 divided by 90 so 10 centimeter x bar so this it will be a 10 centimeter why because it is symmetry of y axis so our x bar is also at the same point where you have located the x1 x2 x3 so your x bar value will be at the axis and similarly if you calculate for y bar that is same formula that is a1 y1 a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by sum of area so now write down area for the element 1 that is 20 y1 distance is 18 plus a2 is 30 then y2 is 9.5 plus a3 is 40 into y3 1 divided by sum of areas 90 so we will calculate now what will be the answer 20 into 18 plus 30 into 9.8 plus sorry 9.5 plus 40 into 1 divided by 90 so we got 7.611 will be the y bar value means this value from the reference line ox to a height of 7.6 centimeter so 5 means somewhere here okay so we have to draw one horizontal line up to the x bar so this is the center of gravity for the entire lamina where you have located not this point so this is at a height of 7.6 and horizontal distance is 10 centimeters so this is the cz for the please subscribe the channel and